So what comes to your mind when I say the words gym class locker room? From what I remember, I would probably describe it as a jungle just because of all the violence and screaming. So my high school was pretty big and had nearly 3,000 kids, so my gym class was usually packed with around 60 boys, which resulted in the locker room being chaotic as fuck. And sometimes we would combine the girls and boys classes and then there would be 120 people in one class and then dodgeball just became a savage nightmare war zone and people would just get, you know, like, Good times though. But back to the locker room stories. So in a perfect world, what you would expect is the bell rings, everybody neatly and in single file walks into the locker room, take off your school clothes, put on your gym clothes, and then finally put all of your stuff into your gym locker, and hey, maybe even have some small talk? Gee, the weather sure is good, Tom. <coughs> nice. Then everyone walks out in a neat and organized manner to meet the teacher to start. Easy, done in five minutes. Then the teacher goes, pip pip cheerio, mate. No, no, dude, no, stop. But that never happens, and my class did it more like this. So, the bell rings, everyone sprints into the locker room, there's a lot of screaming, everyone is shirtless and whipping each other with their towels, and it takes like 15 minutes to get changed. Then sometimes the teacher would burst into the locker room if we took too long. Hey! What the hell is this? So my first year I thought the locker rooms were intimidating and that everyone was being way too energetic, but by my fourth year, I was joining in on the fun. Now I don't know about you guys, but at my school there were all kinds of different people in the locker room, from like normal to undescribably strange. So off the top of my head, this is what I remember. The normal kids who would change quickly and then leave quickly. People who would punch lockers and act like orangutans. Quiet kids in the corner who looked like they feared for their life. This one is kind of weird, but sometimes there would be kids who would bring food into the locker room and eat while we were changing. Like, I, I don't know why you do that because it's a locker room and why would you, why would you eat now instead of lunch? And for some reason, there would be kids who would smoke in the changing room and then just blow the smoke out the window. <laughs> then there's just that kid. No one really knows or wants to know what's going through his mind. So this one time while changing, we were all smacking each other with our towels like normal, but then someone decided to soak their towel in water, and then that changed everything, because getting hit with a wet towel hurts a lot more than it does with a dry one. Because water, you see, makes things heavier and stuff, and the force is equal to mass times acceleration and math and science and I, I don't know. It was just a lot more painful. So this kid's towel got a huge level up. So wet towel guy is going around and smacking the soul out of people, then he gets to my friend and he winds up the towel really good and takes a stance like he's about to samurai execute my friend and he flicks his wrist perfectly. My friend was extra white and pasty, so the mark that left on his back was super pink, like strawberry sundae, Patrick star, pink starburst, a black pink in your area. Black pink in your area. And he just straight up howled like a wounded animal from the pain and it was so overly dramatic because he fell to his arms and knees and there were tears welling up in his eyes. And when my friend went down, everyone was either screaming, laughing, or cheering and I was kind of doing a combination of all three. Dude, how did you whip the towel like that? It was sick! Towel whipping was really weird now that I think back to it because most of our voices were still really high and squeaky in freshman year and whenever someone got hit with a towel, they would scream like a six-year-old. <laughs> Anyways, another locker room story. So another day, our class was really slow and we were in the change rooms for like 20 minutes and then our teacher pops into the locker room. Hey, be outside in 30 seconds. Stop fooling around. No one really cared, but then he said, Be outside in 30 seconds or I'm making all that's the country music for the next two weeks. Lock them door and turn the lights down low. Another thing, so of course in high school everyone was just trying to show off or impress each other, right? So a lot of the guys in our locker room would brag about getting with girls and all that stuff, and of course we would jokingly make fun of each other for not having a girlfriend or whatever. But here they are, surrounded by 60 other sweaty dudes in their boxers, wrestling and tickling each other with towels, and they're making girlfriend jokes does not compute <coughs> locker rooms are weird oh yeah there's this one guy that would always yell dr brain and then he would flash his ball starting to wrap things up whenever you heard loud noises in the locker room it was either incoherent screaming towels being whipped lockers being punched or people yelling names usually really dude bro sounding names and if you are wondering dude bro names are just very dude bro sounding names here's a quick list of dude bro names Tanner, Trent, Brent, Brad, Paul, Brody, Nick, Chris, Kevin, Mike, Harami, Josh, Kyle, Patrick, Dylan, Chad, Filthy, Frank, James, and bars, and so on. You know those Nick Coletti vines? What the fuck is up, Kyle? No, what did you say? What the fuck, dude? Step the fuck up, Kyle. That pretty much sums up every single conversation in the locker room ever.
Honestly, Chad, if you whip me one more time, bro, I will be so mad. Honestly, Kyle, I'm gonna do what I want, bruh. Honestly, Kyle, Chad, 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 okay, okay, honestly, honestly, Kyle, Kyle, I'm actually gonna beat you, bro. I'm actually gonna beat your ass. Honestly, Kyle, I don't even want to play COD with you anymore. Honestly, Chad, if you don't even want- Wait, you don't want to play COD with me, bro? Oh yeah, and sometimes you'd bump into the class before yours while changing, so my freshman class would always bump into the senior class, and since I was 14 at the time, the senior class looked like gorillas on steroids. You know, when I was a freshman, I remember thinking that high school seniors were really old looking, but now that I'm 19, high school seniors sort of look like babies. But then again, I'm sure when you graduate college, college freshmen look like babies, and college freshmen are a lot older than seniors in high school. So it's like a never-ending cycle of people looking like babies. Harold, you're going on a tangent. Whoops. Anyways, that is my convoluted and messy gym locker story. <laughs>